Jayadev Brahmacharya Nikarishma, a respected faculty member of the Art of Living, recently shared profound insights on her experiences and wisdom gained from living with the Master His Holiness Gurudev Shri Ravi Shankar Ji. In this interview, she delves into the nuances of a spiritual practice, the essence of faith, and the transmitted journey under the guidance of a Guru. Brahmacharya Nikarishma Ji, can you share your thoughts on the role of faith and devotion when living with a Master like His Holiness Gurudev Shri Ravi Shankar Ji? Living with a master is a profound experience that goes beyond intellectual understanding. It is not about convincing others of the master's greatness, but about embodying the transformation yourself. When people see the changes in you, they naturally become curious and inspired. Gurudev often emphasizes that there is a time for everything and we must be patient and persistent. In our spiritual practices, it is about conveying inspiration, not convincing or uh, con- converting anyone. How should one approach sharing these experiences, their experiences with others, without the intention of convincing them? When sharing your experiences, it is important to focus on inspiring others rather than trying to convince them. Gurudev says to simply share what you have experienced and let people observe the changes within you. Some people may not understand or accept it immediately and that's okay. Everyone has their own timeline for spiritual awakening. Just keep sharing with a genuine heart and let the Master's grace do the rest. What is the significance of surrender and how does one practice it effectively? Surrendering to the Master means letting go of our ego and personal agendas. It is about becoming a mouthpiece for the Divine, allowing Gurudev's wisdom to flow through us, whether it is through prayer, meditation or sharing on social media. The key is to do it with the intention of being a vessel for the Master's grace. When you go to speak or share a simple prayer like Gurudev, please guide my words and actions can be powerful. It is a reminder that you are not the doer, the Master is. How can one cultivate a sense of complete devotion and gratitude towards the Guru? True devotion and gratitude come from recognizing the immense blessings and guidance the Guru provides. Sometimes we might forget the grace we receive and take it for granted. It is essential to consciously remind ourselves of all that the Master has given us and how it has transformed our lives. Complete surrender and devotion are achieved and we realize that our life, body and mind are tools for the Guru's work. It is about making ourselves available and open to whatever guidance comes from the Master. How does one deal with doubts and challenges in the spiritual journey while living with the Master? Doubts and challenges are natural on any spiritual path. The important thing is to keep your mind open and not let doubts take root. Living with the Master helps in silencing the mind and deepening trust in the process. Whenever challenges arise, the best approach is to continue with your practices and remind yourself that the Guru's grace is always there, the Master's presence itself as a guiding light that helps dispel doubts over time. Can you describe an experience that highlights the importance of living with a master? There was a moment when I was sitting with Gurudev and I felt a profound shift within me. It wasn't about what he said but about his mere presence. This experience taught me that being with the master can catalyze internal transformations that words cannot explain. It is about absorbing the energy, the wisdom that the master emanates. Just being in the master's presence can dissolve Many of our inner conflicts and bring clarity, how does one balance personal effort and the grace of the Guru in the spiritual journey. Personal effort or Purusharth and the Guru's grace go hand in hand. You must put in your own effort by engaging in spiritual practices, reaching out to others and being and being proactive in your growth at the same time. Trust that the Guru's grace will support and guide you. It is like rowing a boat with two boards. One is your effort and the other is the Guru's grace. Both are essential for smooth sailing. Finally, what message would you like to give to those who are starting their journey with a spiritual master? My message to new seekers is to stay open-hearted and trust the process. Don't overthink or try to control everything. Just be present to your practices sincerely and let the master's grace unfold naturally in your life. Each moment spent with the Guru is a blessing and an opportunity for profound growth. Keep faith, stay dedicated and remember that the journey itself is as beautiful as the destination. Take a day.